It's Mike's Daily Podcast. Where are we? Mike's Daily Podcast. We're at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mon. Mike's Daily Podcast. Podcastro Valley 10, I think. That's where we are. It's F- F- episode 2748. And it's cold because it's winter and people seem to have forgotten that it's cold. Did you know? Uh, Mike. Mike's Daily Podcast. Sometimes wears a hat. And I am going, I have to this time of year with the bald head. I need Mike's something up there. Daily Because it is like you're a walking thermometer when you are bald. You are constantly, you know how when you, hey, which direction does the wind blow? And you take your finger and you put it in your mouth, which we stopped doing because of COVID. Remember, because you're not supposed to put your fingers in your mouth anymore ever since COVID. And we all got trained on that. And now that COVID's gone. Oh, wait, it's not gone. Oh, wait, more people are getting flus and kids are getting flus and COVID's and everything. Okay. Well, anyway, cafe anyway, your the top of your head acts like a f- wet finger is what it is when you're bald. And you're always, oh, the wind's coming from the northeast, I can tell today. Always, you feel it. And it rained like crazy in Podcaster Valley. And my basement finally leaked. I got somehow through most of the winter, there was no leak in the basement. Now there is. Last year... On New Year's Eve, I got so much water in my basement. So we went out and bought a bunch of tarps. And we put the tarps out again this year. And have been lucky until last night. And then the rain came. And it got really wet. And that just... It's just a little bit of water. I mean, it's not like, you know, up to your ankles or your legs. Then I'd be in trouble. Because I got all my equipment down there. Electrical equipment and... And recording stuff and podcasting stuff. And I like to podcast. And here's today's podcast picture. If you hadn't noticed, because it's a daily podcast. And it's FFF, so 2,748. And the podcast picture is the wonderful late, great Basil the Boxer. I promised you I'd get a picture of him. And there he is, a wonderful, a wonderful walk we took seven years ago. And his legs were starting to go about then. I could see there was some kind of issue starting to happen. But he hung in there for a couple more years. These boxers are a great dog. If you have a boxer, you need to walk them, though. And you need to let them play. I Nothing irritates me more than seeing... Well, actually, there's lots of things that irritate me more. But one of the things that irritates me would be to see someone with a boxer on a chain, on a choke chain, out there walking... In the wilderness Where the dog really is not gonna Boxers They'll chase after Like Basil would chase after a deer Every now and then But he would come back And I'm finding that out about cats too You can let a cat go outside And barring it going God forbid out in the middle of the road But it It it, it will come back So The thing, though, is you need to go to dog training. First off, get some kind of training done with you and your dog so you understand how to tell the dog, hey, sit, hey, come back here. The vocal retrieval command, they got to be good with that because that might be what saves your dog someday. But boxers love to run around and smell and sniff out in the great outdoors. And there are people that are paranoid. Oh, my dog's going to go bite someone. Oh, my dog's going to... You're in the middle of nowhere. It's the same people like that are out on a mountain top. And they're still wearing a COVID mask. What is happening? We're too paranoid. The Micropedia Insanica. As a society... We're way too paranoid. So that's why I'm bringing up the cold weather. The harsh weather in Oregon played a role in, unfortunately, three deaths. A medical examiner in Portland investigating hypothermia death as freezing rain and heavy snow fell in the city that's more accustomed to mild winter rains. Hundreds of people took shelter overnight at warming centers 
in Oregon over the weekend. The Portland Fire and Rescue also reported the death of a woman in her early 30s Saturday afternoon. That just boggles my mind that we still have that sort of thing happen. An RV caught fire when a small group of people used an open flame stove to keep warm inside. Never a good idea. And then a tree fell on the vehicle, causing the fire to spread. Three other people escaped, including one with minor injuries, but the woman was trapped inside. This from the Associated Press. Icy winter weather blanketed the U.S. as a wave of Arctic storms threatened to break low temperature records in the heartland, spread cold and snow from coast to coast, and cast a chill over everything from football playoffs to presidential campaigns. As you know, it's all happening now. In Iowa. The news bleed section. Yes, Martin Luther King Jr. Day weekend holiday. The weather forecast was a crazy quilt of color coded advisories from an ice storm warning in Oregon to a blizzard warning in the northern plains to high wind warnings in New Mexico. Gosh, and it's uh, snowy in Des Moines, Iowa. And that he, let's see. He said as he closed that story out So speaking of which In Des Moines Going on in Iowa There is the major campaigning going on As the Iowa caucuses are happening And Trump has turned on loyal supporter Vivek Ramaswamy For the first time Ahead of the Iowa caucuses This according to Business Insider Trump accused him of deceitful campaign tricks And he said that He is not MAGA Ramaswamy responded by saying He is not going to criticize Trump Yikes That's why it stinks To be a Republican candidate For president These days Uh, He wrote this I guess On Truth Social Trump did Because he owns it He says Vivek started his campaign As a great supporter The best president in generations Etc Unfortunately now All he does is Disguise his support In the form of Deceitful campaign tricks Very sly But a vote for Vivek Is a vote for the other side Don't get duped Duped by this At least At least he came out And said it Then Ramaswamy Uh, He has repeatedly defended Trump And has criticized Other GOP candidates For not supporting the former president enough What what a weird position Yet he wants to beat him As president Yet he's spending all this money To try and beat him Because he wants to run for president He wants the ticket Be the first on the ticket It's never going to happen They're just running Wow They're running through people's bank accounts Is what they're doing Absolutely useless review. He justified running against Trump by claiming that the system will not allow the former president to reach the White House. What? Might rip someone a new one. <sighs> Ramaswamy. He is just riddled with all of these crazy conspiracy theories. He just cannot. Wow, shuts uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. The, you know, people yeah. will just. Conspiracy theorists in the Republican Party will just oh they hear Ram Swamy talk they're like oh that's that's great that's great that's great oh wait a minute he's running against Trump well that's awful because we love Trump never gonna let that nope Trump's gonna be the the candidate which is a very good thing which is a very very good thing <laughs> ridiculous all these people saying oh Haley Nikki Haley. She's gonna. She's got. She's. She's got second place. That's not gonna happen when Trump is so far ahead. Plus the Trump name recognition. Plus the people that are just completely drink. The the Kool Aid is all inside their blood system, and they love. They bleed mega. So. What's the cliche of the week? 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 Republicans have introduced a bill to prohibit states like us from using te- federal tax dollars to subsidize illegal immigrant care. The legislation 
comes as California is expanding its Medicaid program to provide free health care. What's the cliche of the week? What's the cliche of the week? For about 700,000 illegal immigrants in this state, the expansion is projected to cost the state more than $3 billion. Oregon has a similar program on the books. Mike Scavenger Hunt. That they need it. News random. Let's give it to them. But then, wait a minute. Look at our state. We're bankrupt. (laughs) Can we do it? So, seeing all the craziness happening here in this state, the top Republicans on the Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana, Republican, is introducing a bill to prohibit liberal states from forcing American citizens in other states to subsidize state programs that expand public health care benefits to illegal immigrants. This from Fox News. The legislation called the Protect Medicaid Act would prevent federal funds from being used to administer state Medicaid benefits benefits provided to non-citizens by American citizens. If a state opts to extend Medicaid benefits to undocumented residents, the bill mandates that the state bears the full financial responsibility without imposing any costs on taxpayers from other states. Everybody make some noise! <laughs> Bringing to you live from this nightmare of a show. Podcaster Valley Mont! <laughs> Mike's Daily Podcast! Wine. <sighs> the whiny white man wine list. This is their way of trying to prevent that from happening. While federal law already prohibits illegal immigrants from receiving Medicaid, certain states, such as California, circumvent this restriction by using state funds from their public health care system. We have Medi-Cal to extend Medicaid benefits to individuals without illegal immigration status. Mike's Daily Podcast Master Pod Theater. I remember several years ago, I forget which governor it was, I think it was a Democrat governor saying, let's give illegal immigrants, uh, let's just give them uh, California driver's licenses. Let's give them, the, you know, we'll just fast track them through the DMV. And that ended up becoming that governor, his... That led to the recall that then got Arnold Schwarzenegger in office. And I can't think of the names at the top of my head. I had a crazy morning. I wake up this morning and basically, so I have to keep an eye on several radio stations. And one of them was off the air. And it turned out it was some other, it wasn't our fault. It was somebody else higher up in the company that had messed up. So I'm trying to cover that and fix that and I'm barely awake and I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I'm causing it to be worse. Uh, It's one of those days. I hate getting thrown stuff at me first thing in the morning without coffee, without being awake and without having, I'm doing this all from home and you got to have your VPN working correctly. Well, on the weekends, VPN never works. It's like the the, the IT people just disappear, disappear. Have you noticed how IT people are getting worse and worse? They're supposed to be there to help you with the technical problems. And they just disappear. Or they, they all they're concerned about is closing the ticket. Okay, well, it looks like I can't do anything, so I'll close the ticket. No, this is still a problem. It needs to be fixed. Well, I can't fix it, so I'll close the ticket. No. That's not how it works. Fix it. That's what you're there for. We need to instantly know who the manager is, who is above them, and start putting heat from above because these IT people, they get away with so much because they have so much power because we're, we're in, we, we need them. We're at their mercy. Outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. 
Look who's here. Hello, my gosh, it's Madam Ruda Bagel, and I love it when IT people make me mad. Ooh. Ah, so you love IT problems? Yes. And when you get IT, do you get A N G? When you have IT issues, do you get A N G? Yes. And do you enjoy these questions I ask? No. Okay, I just, I'll, do- done. Look who else is here. Hello, Dave Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we love conspiracy theories because everything on the media that we see on the television is a lie. Day. Yeah, lies. Do you know that? It all started with uh, somebody by the name of Rush Limbaugh who said something like, Drive by media. And then we'd, we'd poke fun at whatever, some legacy media. Your ABCs, NBCs, CBSs, APs. Mike, it's... Uh, CNNs, anything, to, uh, any other letters you want to have thrown at you. They're all, you can't believe a word they say. Mikey Fikey, great. And you just, you say that and you undercut whatever credibility they have. And then you just say nothing they say is makes sense. It's a, it's the same thing people did to the FBI. Well, the FBI all they do is is bad. And it, well, what about all the times they protected us from terrorism? Oh, they haven't done that. They did. They're, they're they just are concerned about making sure Trump doesn't make it to the White House. What? I hear these things and my, my head spins round, right round, like a record baby, <laughs> right round, 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 which. I don't know if you know this or not. The head is not supposed to do that. It's not supposed to spin around like that. Okay, let's play a couple songs real quick. We're going to do this a little bit out of order or not the way we usually do it. This is the Mike Matthews New Tunes Feud. We're going to play you some songs that were sent to me. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. It's pretty interesting. And oh, new music is always fascinating to me. And oh... I feel like supporting them And oh Here we go Here's an email it says Hey there Mike You shouldn't lose faith That love is right Around the corner Sometimes You have to let go And it will find you Aw Love is just around the corner This is the ethos Behind our new song Patient Love An ode to the p- Now that wouldn't be The love between A doctor and a patient It is Just being patient Be patient You're going to hear this song in a second. Patient Love, an ode to pop, folk, stomp, and holler songs we had fun listening to when we were younger. And this is from a band called The Neighborhood Watch. Let's listen to a little bit of their song called Patient Love. And I'm going to press a button here and hopefully this will work. And don't you love it when the announcer person tells you that they're pressing a button? Patient love A little bit of that I can't play too much here I'll get dinged by YouTube Okay that's the first song The Neighborhood Watch The second song Is by someone named Iskway Hi Mike I'm excited to announce That I have a new record coming out On April 12th Entitled Nina It's my, It features my most vulnerable Songwriting to date To that end, I have another taste to share with you today. Waiting for the Laughter was written as I grappled with the messaging directed toward women and our aging. I felt a toll on my spirit when I'd look in the mirror and see a new line or crease and then open my phone to all the filters and apps that seem to wipe away any sign of aging. Ooh! Well put! Yes. May I, Iski, Iskwe, whatever your name is, Iskwe, I as well. Since I am 55, the wrinkles are coming fast and swiftly. And I looked in the mirror. Uh, I think it was last week or just the day after New Year's, something like that. And I saw a crazy wrinkle. This has never happened before. A crazy wrinkle that I had never seen before. And it was, it was like a crease in my face. I thought for a second maybe someone cut me. And I'm like, where the heck? What is that from a pillow? What did that? How did that happen? I immediately grabbed 
or whatever lotion I could find and started wipe, putting it in my face. Probably not the smartest thing. You got to have special lotions if you're going to put them on your face. Uh, only certain are certain lotions are made for your face, I should say. But gosh, I'm like, oh no, no, where is it? What is this from? So my mom had told me years and years ago that she was happy with her wrinkles as long as they were smiling wrinkles as long as the, you know the crow's feet came from smiles and I, I I adopted that philosophy and I'm yeah if I got wrinkles on my face and there's a Brandy Carlisle song about this but if I have wrinkles on my face it should show it should show happiness the happy things that I've had a happy life and not all the seriousness and the Concern and the craziness that we get all wrapped up in the conspiracy theories, the 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 anger we feel for crazy things that botch us all up, the frustration we feel over idiotic things because it's all small stuff in the end. You know, we're not getting out of here alive. So I have since forgotten about that wrinkle. I've looked in the mirror today. I don't think I even it even registered. I don't care. But Isque goes on to say, I find it dizzying to think of the times I've loathed my body, how I pluck, color, and cover the natural body I was born with. Will I stop? Probably not. Do I try to push myself as far as I can to love the body and being I was born with? Every day. I'm constantly searching for the laughter in it all. Laughter is medicine after all. Waiting for the laughter is to drive the hurt away. Here is the song by Isque. It is called Waiting for the Laughter. Wow, some thought-provoking music there from Isque. And then the last song we have that you can vote on, and I'll give you the number that you can call if you would like to call in and vote on any of the songs that we played today, is Pepe Deluxe. They have a new single called Back from the Future with Golden Finger, with Goldfinger and K. <laughs> okay. Back from the Futures, oh, it's Back from the Futures with Goldfinger and K, is a delightfully unconventional composition, even by the most deluxe, with a little accent over the E. Oh, I should say it's deluxe with an accent over an E at the end. Even by the most deluxe of standards, it's a song of, of songs, drawing inspiration from mega mixes and the film Everything Everywhere All at Once, offering glimpses glimpses into the new Pepe album. However, these aren't glimpses from our future. Instead, they are windows to other potential futures and dimensions. So wait, who is this? Oh, okay. They're called Pepe Deluxe. I'm getting a little confused here. Perhaps what I said made sense. But here they are, Pepe Deluxe and their song Back from the Futures with Goldfinger and K. Between your fingertips, if there's a heavenly body in the mirror of a lake, it's as easy as cake. Near enough, you can take it. Get your with us. I'll with us. I'll Wow. Okay. Maybe you like that. That's a bit crazy. So, which one did you like best? Did you like the Neighborhood Watch? Did you like Esque? I S K W E. Isque? Maybe that's how you say it. Or Pepe Deluxe with a E over an accent at the end. Or an accent over the E. You can call me at this number here. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. Will you shut up? Liberty Nation Freedom Foam for All. And to wrap up the show... Mike's Daily Podcast for today I'm going to go back in time with you This is Let's Go Back with Matthews Let's Let's go go back back with with Matthews Live and loco So you heard me just now ask you to call in And I gave out the phone number 
And I'll be honest with you, nobody ever calls it. But back in the day, about 20, oh, this is over 20 years ago, maybe 25 years ago. We're talking about the year 1998 is when I had a show on a country radio station. And we gave out the phone number all the time. People would call in. I'd put people on the radio. Lots of interaction going on. And here's a little bit of that. This was a show called the K. Hey Santa Fe Cafe on a country station. And we had fun and some interesting people called in. And I had this on cassette. So I guess this is uh, Mike's cassette cubbyhole as well. Mike's cassette cubbyhole. Oh, my gosh. The bottom of the chart. Pretty good songs that never made it on the radio because people didn't think they were worth. But you know what? They come back up and people start playing them, and it's like, oh, where'd that come from? So here we go with the little bit from back then. Oh, that's a Clint Black song with Winona. I think the two of them—they're both alive still. Yes. KJY 10 in a row, continuous new country, the Rompin' Stompin' Roadhouse, the KE Santa Fe Cafe. And Winona and Clint Black, a back and by. If you saw the last episode of the Larry Sanders show with Gary Shandling, Clint Black sang that song to Larry Sanders as sort of a goodbye. It's a a goodbye song. In fact, he beat out Tom Petty in being able to be the person who got to sing the goodbye song to Larry Sanders. Before National Hug Day is over, remember, hugging uh, helps release tension. So, Jim the Janitor, you're standing right there. Give me a big hug, you big beluga. Come on, give me a hug. Come on. There, there. That's good. Ow! You know what time it is? It's time now for the express request. Must be something other than a slow song. Something we haven't played already tonight or a singer we haven't heard from the past. Is fun. Okay, who's that going out to? Uh, just playing it for myself. All right, it's a great express request. And where are you calling from? I'm calling from Simi Valley. Okay, and our cafe question finished this sentence. I thought I was going to jail for sure. That's country radio, folks. It was like the Springer Show every night. Fun times. Ooh, Vince Gill. He's still alive, isn't he? One hundred point seven KJY ten in a row. Continuous new country and Vince Gill. If you ever have forever in mind, right before Vince, Toby Keith should have been a cowboy. And this is Matt Michaels.
woman's voice on your show, Mike. Don't do that. Ugh. Ugh. Gosh, how did that happen? That's terrible. That's terrible. Ugh. I don't wish her any ill will, but dang. <laughs> she did not treat me well. Oh, it was right about that time, too, in, in 98. I was still in my 20s. Wow. But she did become, for a year, she was the voice of Angie's List. Now they're no longer known as Angie's List, but she was a national voiceover. She was the voiceover announcer that you heard for that commercial on radio throughout the country. That was her big claim to fame. Okay, anyway, Cafe Anyway, that's... A little bit of that busts me up when somebody <laughs> I just threw that guy on the air too what was the that was a funny question I thought I was going to jail when and people answered it and that I I was amazed to hear and that's because it's a Springer world everybody the late great Jerry Springer okay we're wrapping up the podcast. I wanted to play one little thing before we go. LA Thousand Oaks and the Ventura County area have been reported to be quiet. That's early 20. That We just heard from late 20s, Mike, and that other thing. And here's early 20s, Mike. Pete Wilson will arrive in Los Angeles for an aerial tour of uh, by helicopter tonight of the area and what's been going on. He'll be here. Was it Pete Wilson? No, he was a Republican, wasn't he? Yeah, we, we've we had Republican governors before. That was me doing a news report. Okay, Herb, how about the museum? Been there. Miniature golf? Done that. The mall? Been there. Double feature? Done that. The other museum with a weird painting? Been there. That's an annoying commercial from almost 30 years, actually over 30 years ago. Okay, we're ending with one last thing for me from 30 years Here ago. Here you are, ahead of that Spandau Ballet with crew. And we are 105.5 KKUR. KKUR, Ohio. Naked eyes, always something there to remind me. This station no longer exists, KKUR, as in your station. And they would play the late great band Naked Eyes. And I was, I think I had to be there at 6 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. You are Mike Matthews saying the roads we walk on lead us in all kinds of different directions and through the most unusual and exciting places. And someday, someday will mine will lead me back to you. It's been fun here. I'll see you later. Spinners, KKUR. What the heck? Wow, what a sign-off, Mike. That was awesome. That was awesome, super young Mike. What a great sign-off. I can't top that. I'll just add to it by saying if you would like to chime in, would you like to contribute in some way back to this podcast with any kind of, what do you call it, feedback? Feedback? Well, here's someone named Ariel who will have information on how to do that. Thanks for listening. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.